Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Oh, that clap was super loud. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you my favorites that I have been mentioning and wanting to film for the longest time and I never found the time but finally had the chance to film a favorites and I'm super excited. I never have too many favorites in my favorites video because I just don't try a lot of things and sometimes I try something and I'm just like I guess you're good but like I don't want to talk about you like in a favorite video you know what I mean like it's just like it's a fine product and that's all there is to it but there are some products here that I'm just like so in love with and I'm just so glad that they are in my life and I just wanted to talk about them to you and hopefully if you are kind of like maybe thinking about some of the products here maybe you can kind of decide in today's video whether you're going to purchase them or not or just like watching the video and not purchasing anything that's fine as well <laughs> but let me talk about like the let me talk about this product because it's just like very kind of like i don't know what to call it but like an, it's an accessory it's not a needed product but it's definitely needed for me like you have no idea how many times i have used this and how many times it has saved my life i just love this product so much and it's the juno brush off brush dry cleaner this is the greatest thing to ever exist and the makeup community is just like the best thing ever look at how dirty it is i need to wash it but i just like if i'm not washing my brushes what makes you think i'll wash this one it's never gonna happen every time i do my makeup i use this i don't like to use a lot of eye makeup brushes so i usually like use one or two and in between the looks or when i'm doing this eye and i'm going to do this eye i kind of like wipe it on this let me open it i wipe it on this and it becomes clean again and i can use it and it's just like the best thing ever it's so easy super cheap and you kind of buy it and then you don't really need to kind of like get rid of it that quickly because i've had this for years now and it's still good you don't need to buy this from juno i know that a lot of brands actually do this now so whichever brand you prefer i think you should buy it because it just makes life so much easier and cook so you don't need to wash your brushes all the time because i don't think it's good to wash them all the time i don't maybe it is i don't know but like wasting water wasting soap and my brushes are not that expensive so maybe i shouldn't be washing them that much i don't know next up is i'll talk about some skincare and then we'll talk about um makeup products first skincare product this product is the love of my life and it's the polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant best thing ever this is the best exfoliant i have ever used i used it yesterday my skin never liked ever this smooth in my entire life maybe when i was a child <laughs> that was probably when my skin was super smooth it's not anymore it's not uh, it's not smooth whatsoever my face is always there is always something on it but it just makes my skin so smooth so clear and just like i feel like i look like i had a facial whenever i use this product and i don't use it as much as it's recommended they say you use it once or twice daily i use it every other day i just don't want to use this like i just feel like it's too much for my skin so i use it every other day and it's just like it does a lot of good stuff for my skin i love this product i think i will rebuy it as soon as i finish this one it is just like something i want to have in my collection forever or until i find like something much better which i don't know how because this is super good but if i ever do that's when i will move on to something else but i like to try new things so maybe i will try different brands but like i want to have this in my collection because it's just good it doesn't break me out doesn't cause skin irritation like it is good like it's a good product plus as you get older people always say you're supposed to use liquid exfoliant instead of like a physical one so like a chemical one instead of a physical one so i'm getting old unfortunately <laughs> so i am using this product and i have been using this product for a while now and it's fantastic it's so good if you are doing like the move from physical exfoliant to a chemical one like try this out i know they have like mini so try the mini until maybe you decide 
if you want to buy the full size but i immediately bought the full size because i'm just like i want to i want to try it i want to try it and i want to have like a good idea if it's good or not so i immediately bought the full size and i don't regret it because it's fantastic and amazing and wonderful and i'm just so happy happy it is in my life next thing is also speaking of getting older i rebought the sunday riley luna sleeping night oil and i have been using this for a while i stopped going to get my laser hair remover because i just don't have the time so i have been using this all the time now i love this product because it's not so strong that i know retinol as a product it always makes your skin kind of like um shed a little bit because it's kind of like renewing your skin and stuff like that but this product is not too strong for me i can use it every other day and sometimes every day and it's fine for me i never like have like a reaction from it i think it's not too strong so i can use it every day if i want to but like i usually don't try to use it every day unless i know like i'm not going out for like the the two days because you're supposed to kind of like use spf and sometimes you know i use spf when i go out but like i can't reapply i think every hour is supposed to reapply spf and i just i'm not gonna do that if <laughs> i know i'm not going to be going out the next day i will use it again and again and again but if i know like i'm gonna be leaving the house and i just don't want to risk um skin damage <laughs> so i don't use it as much but like it's a fantastic product it is so good i love how it's not too oily it is a oil but it's not too oily where it just like it feels like a thick layer on your face i apply it and it immediately absorbs into my skin I still look like I have oil on my face, but it doesn't feel sticky or you know how oil sometimes is very sticky for some reason. This doesn't do that for me. Like if I need to go out wearing this, I don't mind doing that because it doesn't look too much. Although if you're lighter than me, I think people with fair skin tone, this will be a bit blue on you because the oil is blue. So I don't know about that, <laughs> but for me, it is not too blue like you cannot see it because my skin is not that light so you cannot really see the blue tint of it but it's not very very blue like it's not this kind of like shade of blue it's very light blue you won't be able to see it unless you are very light then maybe you will <laughs> next let's move on to the makeup products oh my god there are so many makeup products here let's talk about them in the kind of like order i do my makeup so first thing first i'm gonna talk about the best foundation that i've ever tried in my entire life and this is my second bottle of this and it's the hourglass vanish stick vanish foundation stick i don't remember but this foundation it's a super old foundation they have new foundations now but like this product is so good i'm wearing it today and i just feel so good when i wear this foundation my skin like i think it's a similar kind of like finish to the Dior Air Flash where it looks like my skin is filtered in my opinion. <laughs> my skin is not filtered. I have texture. I have pores. I have a lot. I'm a human being so I have a lot of things on my face. But it just makes my skin look so good. Like I feel hot when I wear, <laughs> when I wear this foundation. I just feel good. And my skin, it wears really, really well. It looks super good. It never is just like, I never have it clinging to anything on my face. Like sometimes when I have dry patches, it clings to that. But like, I never try a foundation that doesn't do that. <laughs> when I use this product, my skin isn't that dry, so it's fine for me. But it is the best foundation I've ever tried in my life. And I haven't tried many foundations, to be honest. I've tried no more than 10 foundations in my life, but this one is the best one because the finish, the look, the way it makes me feel, this does everything to me. I have the shade Golden Tan. I think maybe if I rebuy it again, I will buy a shade up. Golden Tan is good, but I feel like sometimes it's uh, a bit lighter. So I think sh the shade up will be the best match for me. But if you have never tried this foundation, like what are you doing? You need to try it it is super good it's so good it's so good it's expensive to be honest it's super expensive 
but it's not as expensive i don't think as the dior air flash and it looks super good but also i have to mention you don't get a lot of products in this product so i don't know <laughs> you decide <laughs> it's your money you decide you decide but i have been using this non-stop you just like you have to trust me you have to trust me this foundation is super good and it's super wonderful and i just like why do i keep clapping <laughs> it is super good next product is you will not be surprised i think by some of the products i will mention now i've mentioned them in my videos and i have mentioned that i like them so it's not gonna be a surprise to you but next product is the nars casino sunkiss bronzing cream so good so good i just don't like the coconut every time every time i use it i'm just like <laughs> i don't like the scent of coconut i just don't like it. it gives me the ick you know what i mean like i just i would rather it not having a scent but i don't work in north so unfortunately i can't really do anything about that i don't know if it's going to be coming back i hope it does and i also know that in some countries it's still available like it's still available in our sephora so you can buy it there but i have the shade casino again another thing i hate it's only in two shades what's that about but you only get laguna and casino this is like the darkest one and it's not that dark <laughs> if i'm being honest it's not that dark like if i ever get darker than this i don't think it will show up on me so that's fun but i love how easy this blends i love how natural it looks i love how long it wears i just like the look of it on my skin i don't wear it today because i'm trying to finish the fenty matchstick it's still going by the way <laughs> but i have worn this a few times like more than a few times i've worn this a lot i sometimes kind of like force myself to use the fenty one because i really really want to finish it so i can finally use this all the time it just looks really really good it looks so natural and it's just like you put it on your face and it takes you like five seconds to blend it's so quick it's so easy it's so easy to use it looks amazing on your face do you know sometimes when you use like a bronzing product and it feels like a stripe on your face this product doesn't do that it never looks like there is something like just like a line here <laughs> or on your forehead it just it just blends into your skin very well the only thing that that i don't like is the scent and that it has two shades and it was limited edition so three things that i don't like about it but other than that it's a great product i would like them to redo it again and bring it out and also like add more shades and maybe remove the scent because it's horrible and i hate it next is another nars product and it is the air matte blush in the shade gasp one of the best cream blushes i have ever tried in my life not only do i love love the shade of this blush the way it just stays on your face for a very long time i once wore it and i was wearing a mask the whole day i still had my blush at the end of the day and it looked amazing let me tell you <laughs> i love this blush i love the formula i love that it's matte because i have oily skin and i don't need more dewiness in my face put it on your face it blends just like the the bronzer it blends super quickly it looks fantastic i love the shade i want to buy another shade of this product i hope i will get a chance to do that i love this so much i love this so much i use it all the time today i'm wearing like another blush that i'm going to mention like later on but this product i have used so many times i've lost count like i use it every time every time i'm wearing makeup I wear this product unless i forget and i kind of like set my makeup sometimes i actually use it even after i put powder on my face and it still looks good so maybe you can use it even after you set your face and it will still look amazing and wonderful but it's just like it's good nars product i've been ignoring nars for so long and then all of a sudden i got really into them last year and i'm just like so in love with the brand because it's just like they do good stuff there they do amazing products and i just ignore them all the time i don't know why maybe it's just like orgasm 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 it kind of gets annoying after a while so i'm just like i don't want to 
think about NARS anymore because I'm just like so tired of it. The products other than the orgasm products are, are good, are good. They are amazing. Next up is the eyeshadows in my collection. First, I'm gonna mention, which is also not gonna be a surprise to you, the Divine Rose 2 by Pat McGrath. I am so, so happy that I bought this. Every time I look at the shade, especially this shade, the multi-chrome shade, my heart becomes happy because of how beautiful it is. This palette is really, really nice. Some of the shades though, I don't know what's going on over there, but it's not fantastic. Overall, I see this all the time, so I'm gonna be repeating myself, but it's not worth the sale price. It's not worth the full price. I don't think it should be in the triple digits. That's my opinion. And I just feel like it's an eyeshadow palette. Why is it that expensive? I always say this. I always say this, if I'm being honest. If I ever get the chance to buy another Pat McGrath palette, I will buy it because I like the formula. I think maybe it's just like I like how it makes me feel more than the product. If I'm being completely honest. Because it's just like, I don't know, something about it. You feel important. <laughs> I feel important when I wear this eyeshadow palette. I feel important when I'm holding this eyeshadow palette. Even though it's all in my head. No one cares about my eyeshadow palette. But it's just like in my head. I feel good when I wear this eyeshadow palette. It's a well-made palette. It's just like not worth the price. I think the only thing in her palettes that I think are good are like the last four shades, which I think it's called Dimension something. But these four in the corner are like her special shades. They are the only thing that makes this eyeshadow palette fun and nice. Her matte shades aren't difficult. I mean, they're fine. You can blend them out, you can use them. It's not it's not a difficult product to use. It's just like, I don't know. I just feel like with that price, you need to be more, you know? Like, I just think this much for like shimmer sheets. Mm, no, I don't know. Next is another Ashley Repels. I just like adore one of the best Ashley Repels I've tried last year. And it's the Wild Chameleon Palette from Huda Beauty. This palette, this palette is so good. The shimmer shades are so much better than her last eyeshadow palettes. I have a few of her obsession palettes in my collection and this is so much better. The mattes are much better quality. They feel like velvet. It's so easy to use, so easy to blend. And also this shade, oh my God, every time, every single time. Like, look at this. This is from Huda Beauty palette. I know, I'm so shocked. As soon as I swatched it, I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I love this palette so much, maybe more than the Pat McGrath palette, actually. I have used this palette as well so many times. Some of my videos, you can see where I'm wearing this palette, especially the shade. I was wearing this shade and this like palette basically in every video. <laughs> I just loved it so much. I loved how it looked. I loved how it made me feel. This palette is one of the best for the beauty palette to ever exist. I just like, I want her to do more. I want her to create shimmers similar to this quality. I want her to improve her mattes even more than this, even though they're amazing in this palette. It just feels so good. It feels like something worth the price. Her palettes always felt like, why am I paying this much for basic quality? You know what I mean? this product it feels like okay she improved i think this is more expensive i don't know i don't know maybe i'm wrong but it feels like she improved a lot of stuff and i'm just like happy happy that she did that i just feel like if you have been in and the community for a very long time and you have put out a lot of eyeshadow palettes you need to improve them because the technology gets better and better every few years and you just like why are we paying so much for you to be still using the like, quality from 2011? Do you know what I mean? Like, this product is super, super good. I am excited to see what she comes out with this year. Maybe another palette that I like, I don't know. But like this product is one of my favorite Huda Beauty palettes ever. Next is this product that I have on my face. And it's the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. 
this another product that i use so much it's so easy so easy to use i love to use them when i am kind of like doing kind of like everyday makeup look i usually have the shade um hold it this way i usually have the shade transition and kind of like use the shade especially when i don't have time use the shade as like a liner and it looks amazing today i used i did a similar look to one of my when i did like the whole mentioned this product i did a similar look to that so i use transition crease i think crease and inner corner on my eyes and yep also makes me feel very hot i feel very hot when i'm wearing this eyeshadow palette <laughs> i feel so good also the highlighter can we talk about this highlighter best highlighter ever best highlighter ever again i have used this highlighter so many times it looks amazing it is the best highlighter i've ever used in my life i wanted to do like a single pan of this highlighter because it's fantastic also wearing the blush another favorite it's just like the best thing ever i use it more than i thought i would ever well i never was the person to buy like a face and eye palettes in one product i always enjoyed like my eyeshadow to be separated from like my face product but this product as soon as i saw the swatches i knew that i wanted to get it because especially the shade it made me mad so as soon as i bought this and i used it i was like oh yeah i made the right decision by buying this product it's amazing the formula is super good super long wearing the the shades in this palette are so good like it makes sense for a product like this that the shimmer shades are very kind of like basic everyday shades also the blush is a very kind of like everyday kind of like shade the highlighter is amazing i want her to do more of these kind of like products i like i'm super excited if she ever does them i will rebuy it and this is like shades that i don't wear like pastels then maybe not <laughs> but this product is so good amazing amazing product so worth it for me and i'm very happy it is in my life and the formula is fantastic and the Luna, i always enjoy her formula so i'm happy that it is in my life next and last product i'm gonna mention all the lip liners that i've tried i am trying to kind of like find my perfect nude and it's a long journey super expensive journey but i think these four are just kind of like what i like at least now i have an idea of the shades that i like so yeah i'm gonna talk about these two first it is from huda beauty i have the shade warm brown and terracotta again this product i use every time every day i'm wearing makeup i'm using one of these lip liners super long wearing it looks really good i feel like i'm wearing a nude when i wear this product i just like feel finally finally i have a nude product and i feel like it's a nude product and it's not like pink so i have so this is terracotta and this is warm brown and it is so so beautiful i love the formula super creamy but it's so long wearing like i have it today i have the shade terracotta on like on my lips and i've also lined my lips with another product that i'm going to mention but like I first bought the terracotta shade and I love the formula and I love the shade and I was just like okay I'm gonna buy the shade um, after terracotta which is also a nude and it was warm brown again best thing I ever did <laughs> was buying this product I wanted to do more I wanted to do like more orange nudes one day I hope she does and next are two lip liners from Natasha Denona so I bought the shade Lala first and for a while i was using this as like something to outline my lips when i was wearing terracotta shade which is this one so i would line my lips with the shade and then add terracotta in the middle it looks so good it made my lips look humongous i loved it what i'm wearing actually today is the shade naya which is the next shade up so i take naya which is this one and i line my lips and then add terracotta and the middle and it's just like so beautiful i feel like this is the nude that i like it is 
is it a little bit pink i think it's there is some pinkness in it i feel like this is the nude that i like I, actually i am hoping to buy like more orange nudes like i feel like they are the shades and the nudes that suit my skin tone the best and i feel like good when i'm wearing it i love this product like i genuinely if i finish this product i will rebuy it same thing with the one brand same thing with i think these as well maybe i will buy only naya because lila i think it's too dark like i cannot really wear this all over my lips i feel like it's too dark for me and for what i like on lipstick especially because it's like dark brown like can you, you can see it here super dark brown so maybe i will just if i ever finish them i will rebuy these three which which is a lip contour 2.0 in the shade terracotta from huda beauty also in the shade one brown by huda beauty and next is natasha denona i need a nude lip crayon in the shade naya and that is it for today's favorite i don't know if this is long i feel like it's long it's long it's long but i will probably edit it and i make it maybe 20 minutes sorry you had to watch 20 minutes of me rambling about my favorite products uh i get passionate <laughs> when i talk about products that i like but i hope this video was helpful and fun for you to watch it was fun for me to film i hope you have a fantastic and healthy day and i'll see you in my next video bye